This video is for all of the families that are dealing with FPIs. I have two kids who have been diagnosed with FPIs and then I have a 15 year old also who probably has FPIs but she had it before it was even a diagnosis and so I can just look back and see her symptoms and know she probably has it too. So all that to say um, I just want to give some tips for anybody who has older kids or I guess any age kids but my kids are they should have grown out of it by now but they haven't and so we're coping and I'm making special foods and we found easy ways to navigate it so I thought I'll just pass these things along I have five-year-old Jojo who is actually gonna be six in May he has F pies and he's up to I think six-ish safe foods, we're still trialing some, so I always get a little hesitant to say it's officially safe, but um, he's got six-ish safe foods now at age six. Um, so that means this little guy for birthdays has had like millet cookies, which is literally like millet, which is a grain, and uh, goat's milk, and make a cookie out of it. So that's kind of the level of where we're at and what we've been trying to be creative with and to to build off of. Um, I have Zia, who's age three, she'll be four soon, and she's more probably up into the 20 food range. So she's starting to kind of become more functional where I would never say, hey, go into your Sunday school class and have whatever snack they serve. No way, we're not there but I can make her some safe cookies with some coconut sugar and some millet grain and she can have something that's like an actual treat. And so that's, that's been really neat. Um, Ella, my 15 year old, she'll be actually 16 in May. Um, she can have far more things to where now I'm only listing the things she can't have. She can't have gluten, she can't have corn, she can't have soy or oats. She can't have dyes, food colorings, um, and we avoid dairy. So for her, she's come a long ways and it's a lot easier. I mean, when you take away gluten and corn, for anyone who's gluten-free, you know it's not simple. But compared to what my littler ones are going through, it's totally simple. So today, the thing I was going to walk everybody through was just making some simple millet bread. Millet is on the safe foods list for F-Pies, but anyone who has a kid with F-Pies, you know no two kids with F pies are the same. Jojo is, um, he's got an acute reaction to avocados. Avocados are also on the safe foods for kids with F pies. It's supposed to be one of those um, good ones <laughs> for these kiddos. But his was like vomit, 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 blood pressure drop, go gray, blue in the face, white around the mouth, and just pass out cold um, for hours. And um, yeah, anyways, we were headed to the ER in one instance, and then he came to, and we were able to rehydrate and everything, thankfully, and he didn't go into shock and die. So <laughs> that is our, our wonderful story, how we found out about avocados, his avocado severe allergy. And um, then we've just been very cautious. We've done food trials at the hospital and stuff like that for him, and now we do food trials at home because um, we're learning how to navigate it. So anyways, Jojo can do, his five foods are millet, pears, bananas, peaches, and goat's milk. He's recently added um, blueberries, and he's trialing broccoli, which has been an intense, whew. And actually, so that's seven, and then he trialed tilapia. I did a video about tilapia, and I'll try and put the link in the comments, but I don't think that they hyperlink. You probably have to like, write it out on a piece of paper and then like type it into your search or something. But I did a video on his food trial of tilapia and um, he did really well. He didn't get any neurological symptoms. Um, he didn't get any skin or um, vomit or diarrhea, anything like that. But he just started refusing it. And so usually when I get a kiddo that loves something at first and then they start to refuse it, there's something going on. It just takes a while for it to kind of manifest in the physical symptoms. So anyways, tilapia is kind of on hold. So what I'm gonna do today is make muffins with my little muffin, it's not a tin, it's not tin, I don't know. And um, so it's gonna be millet, salt, pears, and water. And this is for Jojo. So that's what we're doing right now. 
And I just, I'm, this is not a helpful recipe for anyone who's like loves to measure because I literally just poured it in. I just eyeballed it. So maybe that's like a cup and a half of millet. And I'm gonna just dump in a bunch of salt because we want this bread to have some, some salt. And millet can be kind of bitter. If anyone has ever played with like a ladybug and they leave the little orange spots on your hand and you smell it, I don't know if anyone has ever smelled their hand after holding a ladybug, but the, to me, that's what millet smells like and tastes like. So we're trying to get rid of that. It's kind of like a, I don't know, it's just kind of bitter. So um, we put in the pears to sweeten it up a little bit and we put in the salt to make it a little bit more tasty. So here we go. So that's what I'm going to use to grease the pans, but I just use a little bit because, um, you know, too much of anything seems to kind of mess with his system. I just blended this till it was like a smooth batter. I mean, it's kind of sludgy, but that should bake up pretty nice. It'll be a dense biscuit, basically. Um, so I'm just going to use my olive oil to grease these little muffin cups. Millet is actually, I thought I'd kind of talk about millet if you haven't had any kind of encounter with it. Um, it is a little yellow grain. It looks very yellow compared to all of the other grains at the grocery store. Um, in Idaho, we got it at Winco and it was decent priced. Uh, we probably got like eight pounds of it for like $5 or something. It was reasonable. And then here in Florida, we found it at Sprouts. Um, they probably have it at Whole Foods, although I haven't ever gone to Whole Foods to get millet. Um, sprouts, we probably pay about $16 for eight pounds, so it's quite a bit more here. I think they have it also on Amazon. Um, we haven't bought it through Amazon either, so I don't really know the prices or vendors or anything like that. But it has been a life-saving grain for my kids. It's got proteins and all sorts of um, nutrients in it that are essential and um, my kids survive mainly on millet, and it's been super, um, I guess, gut friendly for them. So anyways, I'm gonna pour in these um, millet cups and I'll just show you the consistency as I pour. Hopefully it'll show. So these don't rise a lot. They pretty much stay the same height as what I pour. They're just very dense little biscuits or cupcakes, whatever you want to call them. So I don't worry about them overflowing too much. They have, but not by much. So these are my little millet muffins. And Jojo, Jojo really likes them. Um, he can sometimes do some cow butter, cow milk butter, um, but just a little bit. Otherwise, his tummy goes haywire. He has some of these little things we can cheat on just a tiny, tiny bit. And if you're a mom of a kid with F pies, you know what I'm talking about. And some of the foods have um, reactions like bloody stool um, and no vomits. It's just that bloody stool. Some of it's diarrhea only. Some of it's the severe vomiting until you could go into shock and die. Some of it's skin. So like Jojo child eggs. And he did fine for a couple weeks. And then he started to get these like cyst pus filled like pockets all around his little bottom. And um, yeah, every time we've child eggs, the same thing has happened again. So I don't know what it is, but it just like accumulates in his skin and he gets these like blisters and they, they look super painful. He 
he gets really irritable and sad and fussy. Um, and so eggs are a no-go, even though he can kind of like tolerate them per se for, so he probably do egg every now and then. <laughs> But as we're trying to trial things, it's I don't want to like sprinkle in egg here and there because we want to know for sure what the reaction is because of. So um, Joe's going to try um, sunflower seeds starting next week. So I will try and do a video on that and just kind of update everybody. But those are my very simple millet muffins. These do come out. They do stay together. Um, they do get crumbly once you start cutting into them and stuff. The kids eat them with forks. Um, so anyways, I hope that helps somebody. I know that there's not measurements, but really like the consistency, you just kind of have to watch and see. Does this look sludgy? Does it look soupy? If it's soupy, it's too thin and if it won't blend and it's too, it gets stuck in the blender, then you, you know you wanna add some more water or whatever kind of milk your kid will tolerate, almond milk, coconut milk, soy milk, whatever your kid can do. You can add, I baked them with um, milk as well. So, and it just, it does have like a richer, um, maybe even a little fluffier texture. So that's really nice, but it also gets expensive when we're shopping like this. You know, I'm always trying to kind of balance nutrition with cost and all of that. So anyways, you just do what works for you, but I eyeball everything just because the texture can be so, it changes depending on what ingredient you put in. And not every F Pies kid is gonna be able to do pears. So if your kid can do um, bananas, banana make, makes a nice banana bread and we've done that as well. So just get creative with the ingredients that you can use, um, breads are great to make and if you can do it in a muffin tin that is can be super easy and with the silicone ones you can just kind of pop them out um, so th that's really handy too but just experiment with the ingredient ingredients that your kids can have because just stovetop cooked millet meal after meal after meal gets really old so we've made muffins we've made bread we've made tortillas and pancakes and so like the tortillas I do pretty much the same thing. I just add a little bit more water so it's soupy. And then I use whatever oil my kids can tolerate and then I fry it on the, the stove top and we make a tortilla and flip it, you know, with the spatula. And the kids think they've gotten a completely new treat <laughs> and it's just millet, water, and salt with their their oil. Uh, Zia can do coconut oil and Joe can do olive oil. So anyways, it's it's fast. These muffins I'm going to put in the oven at 410 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to bake them for 20 to 30 minutes just depending on the heat of my oven. So um, I will show you what these look like when they come out. Okay, so the buzzer just went off at 20 minutes. Alright, so the way I test to see if they're done I just kind of push and see if they feel solid and if they feel solid then they're good. So this was 20 minutes, um, just about a cup of millet, maybe a half teaspoon of salt, a whole pear, and probably a cup and a half of water. And then I bake in a 410 degree Fahrenheit oven for 20 minutes and this is what we get. And we'll get JoJo's take on it here in a little bit and see how it tastes. This is Miss Zia with, she can have beef, broccoli is what she's trialing right now, and then that's her little millet muffin. I didn't get the millet grains uh, blended very well in the blender for that one, so you can see the individual millet grains, and those muffins are a lot more crumbly. They're a little darker because I put a few blueberries in. What do you think? Good. <laughs> Joe's smashed millet. It's just basically cooked millet. We cook it on the stove like you cook rice with water. And uh, then we put it in the blender and puree it with some goat's milk and salt. And it's like a mashed potato type food. And he loves it. it. Gives him just a little bit of variety. So it's not just that fluffy cooked millet and it's also not the muffin or the tortilla or the bread, but it's smashed. So this is how we kind of create variety in our world. And then he had broccoli and he has already devoured that. You like your broccoli? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so these have cooled. Wow, my hair is like 
She's telling me I need to go get ready for the day. So this is the muffins. And they should pop out. Yeah. Popped out nice. Pretty clean. Okay, Joe. You want to bite into it? Come here. Right in front of the camera. Is it warm? Yeah, well, I do like a muff uh, butter with it. Should we put a little butter on it? Sure. Okay. Get nice and thin so you don't get too much. Okay. Okay, show show your bites to the camera so that people who watch it can see how crumbly it is or not crumbly. It's pretty moist, huh? Turn it, turn it. Right, like. Just like a dense. Muffin. How is it? Good. <laughs> is that good? Yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> He's so cute. I get some free dinner, right? Free dinner? Yeah. That's your free dinner? Yeah. You're so funny. <laughs> <laughs>